soothing like hey y'all it is vlogmas day 11 and today is sunday so i said i'm just gonna do like a sunday dinner cooking vlog so i'm gonna do something simple you can get this whole you can do this whole meal for like under 25 dollars 20 to 25 dollars um i got everything from walmart so i'm gonna be cooking cornish hen yellow rice corn on the cob and red lobster biscuits so i've already cleaned my hen I don't know if y'all can see, but let me adjust. So, I already cleaned my hands really good. You have to make sure you clean hands, chicken, all that really, really good because we ain't trying to get sick over here. And I was cutting the tips off of these, like the lean tips, because they was a little weird looking. And I forgot to cut this one off, so let me cut it. They was looking a little, they was like, I don't know, they look weird. They had like black. They look black. And I was not gonna eat that. But everything else on the hand was good. So I'm about to just season it. I'm gonna show y'all how I season it. First, I need to preheat the oven to 350. First, I'm gonna drizzle some oil on the hand. So I'm gonna do that. I forgot to get gloves at the store, so. I'm gonna have to be using a lot of paper towels to like wash my hands and kind of like rub all the oil and stuff on both sides. And the reason I'm putting oil on my hands is so like the seasoning can like stay on and stick really well on it. So I really wish I would have got gloves because this just feels disgusting. Like. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it feels weird. But okay. Okay. So, since I've washed my hands, now I'm about to season my chicken. So, I use Tony's No Salt. The garlic roasted herb chicken from McCormick. Garlic powder, onion powder, this some more garlic powder. And I use Saison seasoning. I might get another one of these. I'm gonna use some thyme leaves and some parsley at the end. Okay, let me pour some of this. You don't need a lot of saison seasoning. Um, it's I don't even be using the whole package anytime I cook something.
see, I didn't see that all my hands and the oven still ain't preheated. So I don't know if it's my oven, but it takes a while to preheat when you first turn the oven on. Put some animal chicken in there. Bless me. Um, the stove just went off, so the stove is finally preheated. So now I'm about to just put some food over it. For like an hour to an hour 15 minutes and so now I'm gonna clean up my area so I can move on to the next scene I got yesterday and I use both of these cuz I'm gonna cook for like a couple of days so I won't have to cook when I get home so I'm about to show y'all how I'm about to make put the uh, boil this corn like this. All right. All right. Put some water in it, at least like halfway. I only got like two of those. All right, so you kind of just gotta. I don't know how to describe it. You just gotta like grab it too. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. I remember one time I was younger and my dad took me to a, well we, were, we passed by a cornfield and this was like after I had learned how to shut corn like this. And um, when we stopped, I took a piece of corn. You really not supposed to do that, y'all. I ain't know you was not supposed to do that. But I took a piece of corn. Tell me why the piece of corn I took is the corn they use for gas. So I didn't, if I would've went to jail for that, I would've been so mad because I couldn't even eat the corn. But I didn't even know they used corn for gas until that moment. And I was just so mad. Like I did all this, but this is how the corn looked, y'all. I'm gonna cut it in half because I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I was like so upset, like wow, all this. Man, I can't even eat it. I know people who not from the south watching this, like what in the country cluck is going on? But it's like I don't know. I just like doing this. I don't know, I think I prefer my corn this way than like processed. <laughs> Cause this is like fresh organic corn that came from the store. All right, so. Alright, so while that's boiling, you also put some butter in there so it can be all buttery and stuff. And that's it. I'm gonna wait to cook the rice in like when the clock hit 20 minutes for the chicken because the rice not gonna take long. And the biscuits gonna be the last thing cooked because the biscuits don't take long at all either. I'm gonna clean up and then come back. Okay, so it's like 28 minutes on the clock. Y'all can see the corn boiling over there, going crazy. And now I'm finna do some yellow rice. I got the Zatarin's kind. This is just the easiest way for me to do it. Um, you just read the directions on the box. That's it. If you can't follow directions, I don't know what to tell you, but it's really simple. So I'm finna do this. All I need is water and butter. That's all I need. So I'm finna make this and then I'll check on the hands, see how they looking, and then probably the last 10 minutes, I'll put the biscuits in. 
Okay, so this is the final look of my plate. And I got pictures too. They probably wouldn't get angry, but everything is finally done. So I'm gonna eat. I never really eat my food on camera, but that's really because I be watching TV. So I guess I'll let y'all watch me eat. So let me get my chair.